Good morning, it is 7.20 something. Um, it's still dark out. We are going to pick up Dan this morning at the airport. Today is Dan's last shift where he has to fly home to us. The next time he goes to work and goes to his days off, we are already gonna be living there, so he's just gonna come straight home and not have to fly, so. Today is kind of a big deal because it's been two years of doing this as a family. Obviously, he's worked out of town for like before, um, but that was when it was just him and I. So this is the first time where Rylan gets to experience um, having something compared to, so she knows what it's like to have him gone so much. So now I'm really excited to have her know what it's like to have him home every night and no longer going to the airport. She thinks he works at the airport. Um, she always says, I want to go see daddy at work. Let's go to the airport. So um, pretty sure that's what she thinks. So I'm going to bring Ozzy with us because he's super easy to bring into airports and stuff when I have both the girls. He's just way more manageable um, and surprise him. We usually try to go in and meet him every single time just because it's so exciting for Rylan and him too. A couple times I just wait outside for him because it's just not realistic to get there in time with both of the girls. So we are going to leave um, in like an hour and a half. I can hear Harlow awake right now. They both woke up at five in the morning today. I don't know why, what happened? Is my house is haunted or something? But they both woke up at the same time crying. Harlow went back to sleep right away, but Rylan kept crying on and off for some reason. So I went in there and told her to go back to sleep and she did. So she's still sleeping, but I suspect she'll wake up in like by eight. And then I'm gonna quickly feed them and then head out. So I'm so excited. I'm just so mentally and physically done. Like I'm just, I am done. So that's what we are doing. I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and then I'm gonna go get Harlow. Um, she's just talking right now. She doesn't usually wake up and cry. So when she does, it's really confusing. That's why I was so confused at five in the morning. I have been up since five since I couldn't go back to sleep after they both woke me up. So usually there are my alarm clocks. Ooh, I'm getting blurry. Um, okay, I'm gonna finish my coffee. Hi. I just got our grocery delivery because I don't really feel like doing a big shop on Christmas Eve today. Um, I'll probably get a couple things just because there's certain things that's kind of hard to buy online. But I'm going to put this stuff away and then get the girls. I don't know if Harlow fell back asleep or what, but she is like completely quiet. So I'll take a look at the monitor. Good morning. <gasps> what are you doing? Hey, Harlow, Harlow. Should we get you up? Your sister is still sleeping. Harlow. Hi. <gasps> Harlow, Harlow. Say good morning. <gasps> good morning, sweetie. Look at you sitting up like such a big girl with your little sleep slack leg. <laughs> Should we get you up? Are you ready? Harlow is just having, she's super impatient. <laughs> she's having some squished blueberries, some soft raspberries, and then some toast little sticks with a bit of peanut butter on them. And I gotta get you a bib. I get you a bib. I just have Harlow. Whoa. I just have Harlow playing with the food truck there. And then I'm gonna get Rylan. It's 8.20. Good morning. Morning. How did you sleep? Good? Yeah. Yeah? 
Guess what? Hmm? Rocky's sleeping too. Who's sleeping? Rocky's oh, Rocky. Sleeping. Yes. Rocky's sleeping too. Yeah. Guess what? what? We're going to go to the airport. Do you know why we're going to the airport? Hey. Do you know why we're going to the airport? Yeah. Why? Why are we going to the airport? To see Daddy. To see Daddy. Are you excited? Something's in my hair. Something's in your hair? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, your ear. <laughs> yeah. Are you so excited? Guess what? We're also going to bring Ozzy with us. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're going to bring him in the airport. Did you have a good sleep? I'm his leash. Hmm? Oh, his leash? Yeah. You want to walk him? Mm. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get changed and then go have some breakfast and then leave. All right? And brush our teeth and go potty. Say woohoo! <laughs> and guess what? It's Christmas Eve tomorrow. Yay! Yeah. How's your breakfast? That's red food. Oh, you're feeding little foot orange oranges? No, that is cold. Oh, okay. Okay, do it by yourself. You always bought. You doing it all by yourself? got back from the airport. Um, Rye, those stay under the tree, please. I have all the presents. Woo! I have all the presents hidden right now because someone likes to touch things, but we're just back from the airport. Stopped at Starbucks on the way back. Dan's putting Harlow down for her nap. It's like two and a half hours past her normal nap time, which is super frustrating. She just like doesn't want to miss out on car rides, so she never falls asleep lately. Um, Rye, put it back, please. Are you just putting it over there? Okay, good idea. Um, Dan's just coming off night shift, so later today he's gonna have a nap when Harlow has a nap, just so he can make it to nighttime. Otherwise, he's gonna crash at like 5 p.m. Where are you going? She's, she's mad because Dan's upstairs with Harlow and not down here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to film today. I'm gonna film again Christmas Day to show our family, the girls opening their gifts, um, and then our move. So that's kind of what to expect. What are you doing? Harlow's being a weirdo. Okay, can you say bye? Oh, Harlow's laughing. You say, come here. You say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> Why, are you playing hide and seek? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go count, okay? You hide.